Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we're going to be inspecting the West Ham United squads, finances and overall setup. If this is your first time here, you might want to hit the subscribe button to keep you bang up to date with all my FM related content going forward. Been up all night and right early this morning trying to get each and every Premier League side up there. And we are now at West Ham. Bottom of the pile, perhaps, alphabetically, but uh, no. Let's waste no more time, jump straight in, take a look at West Ham United. So the Amers, uh, not having a great start to the season in the real world. Slavon Bilic, uh, not doing too well, is under a lot of pressure. But uh, I've come in now, taken over the reins and going to give it a crack of the whip. Only just for a minor minute or two. Let's jump in and press the home screen and take a look at your preseason. Well, the preseason for me anyway. Uh, got a, f a few interesting sides here. We've got a visit. Turkish side Besiktas, but before that we've got the away trip to Begarad, wherever Begarad is. That's in Serbia, of course it is. And then we got to take a take a visit to the STVV. That looks like a Dutch team or Belgique. You know, uh, I'm close close to the mark. This is a Portuguese side, Veronese. Uh, I know that for sure. And who else? Finally, Duka Prague. That's in that's in uh, Czech. Or maybe Slovakia, uh, wherever it, it falls upon. But anyway, this is your quick uh, glance at your overview. Um, obviously, nothing real of crucial information here just right now. But as the season progresses, that that will um, these these will change. Um, let's take a look at the, the stuff that really matters: the money, how much financial clout you'll have this season. Uh, you'll start with 32 million with a wage budget of 1.7 million. You can tweak that somewhat, usually, anyhow. Might not give you too much uh, wiggle room. You can push it, looks like you push it towards 36,000. And if you want to get a little uh, experimental and crazy, you might um, ask for a board uh, request or budget adjustment. Um, but that will actually come at a cost because that's more likely to put you in a bit more pressure. But anyway, let's take a look at the under-18 squad. I've been to uh, the old Upton Park a couple of times uh, when I used to live down south um, in England. Uh, it was a cracking cracking uh, stadium well, for me as a visitor. It was pretty decent. Um, good atmosphere. Um, you know, got a soft spot for, for West Ham. Uh, the new place, not too sure. Not sure how that's 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 being received by the Hammers faithful. But anyway, here is a quick scan at your... Uh, under 18s, couple of international prospects in here. Bernardo Rossa, 16 years old, valued at 5k. Future potentially three star. Um, this Greek lad, 16 years old, can play as attacking uh, midfielder into the striker role. Um, again, very young, very raw talent. Um, Corey Henry, probably one of the most expensive, if not the expensive player. Within the under 18s, doesn't really. It's not. Doesn't look too promising for him. Only has potential of two stars, but uh, maybe you give him more focus in the training, and maybe that will change. Kristin Belic, another 16-year-old Serbian, potential free star, um, uh, future Matic perhaps. In fact, just before we go, just make sure I am not missing out on anyone, and I would have done this guy, Anwar El Manhanzi, Dutch winger, 16 years of age. Potential five star. This guy uh, could you know, need to take care of this guy. Maybe give him a good mentor um, uh, as you take over the reins of West Ham. Let's jump straight in and take a look at the under twenty three situation. Pretty small condensed squad in the under twenty threes, so I'm not too sure about what that means. Maybe maybe the squad, uh, you know, maybe you've um, sold a few players, or maybe the uh, actual seniors are good enough. But a lot of room uh, for manoeuvre. Uh, and additions, perhaps. Uh, any standouts? Yes, Snodgrass, currently on loan uh, at Aston Villa, I believe. He came in um, as a replacement to Dimitri Payet, perhaps, and he kind of crashed and burned, didn't really uh, kick, a, kick on um, where he would have expected to. Reese Oxford, um, currently on loan at Borussia Mönchengladbach. There he is. Um, that's my German side. I do support them. Declan Rice, also another young defensive midfielder. Uh, Reese Burke, a lot of Reeses knocking around on loan at Bolton. Uh, who else have we got in here? 
In fact, let's just rejig this so I can see who is the most expensive player in there. Denial Henry. He was on loan at Rovers for a, for a short spell. Only had four games. I think he might even picked up an injury back then. So him being out again does make him a bit of a sick note, perhaps. Martin Samuelson, another player who was on loan, didn't really didn't really kick off. It doesn't even have it in here. That's how uh, shocking it was. He was on loan. Uh, that's a fact. But it was a bit of a disaster. So enough said about that. Anyway, let's take a look at the main squad. Uh, not that big. It looks pretty pretty tight. And we will just rejig it now to have a look at what players are on there. Joe Hart's on loan, 18 point. Well, it's valued at 18 million. Um, so goalkeeping area, long term is an area of that, that would need some focus. Adrian's decent keeper. Um, in fact, don't you have uh, that young Irish keeper? Where, where, where did he go? I think you might have sold him, actually. You might have sold him to Middlesbrough. Um, Jose Fonte, 33 years old, 6.5 million centre back. Winston Reed's in there, 20.5 million. Uh, the Kiwi um, just signed a new long term deal, so let's hope for, to see that in place. Um, let's rejig it to see who's the most expensive player on the books. Javier Fernandez signed in the real world for around about 12 million, 15 million. He's ranked at 37. Mikhail Anto Antonio, uh, Italian sounding name, but he is English and he's got a few caps to his name again. Or does he? Did he actually get the caps? I know he's been in the squad a couple of times. Um, Arnautovic, he's uh, started off very, very poorly for West Ham. And they paid big bucks for him. So Stoker probably laughing their way to the back. Andre Ayew is another quality player. And Andy Carroll, again, injured. Um, so a pretty decent squad. Pablo Zabaleta, 32 years of age. 20.5 million. That's a lot of money uh, for a 32-year-old. But... Realistically, on paper, it's not a bad, not a bad-looking lineup. Um, you might, you might want to add some, some extras in there to to beef it up. Possibly a goalkeeper. But we'll have a look at the squad depth in just a second. Let's take a look at the competitions. Uh, Premier League, the club expects you to be mid-table. As for the FA Cup, fifth round for that, and they do consider the League Cup a bit of a priority. Fourth round, um, all doable, I think, with that squad. As for your team report, quick gander here. Feel free to pause and take a look. Uh, as for the squad depth, your fullbacks are areas that are lacking in numbers. Your right back, you've got uh, aging Pablo Zavaleta in there. Winston Reid, I would not put him in right back. He definitely just needs to be at the heart of your defence. Uh, the left side of a defence, also some areas of, of possible... Strengthening required and definitely goalkeeper because Joe Hart's only on loan. Midfield seems to be pretty sturdy. Up front, where they all fit, you've got at least three decent strikers. Um, Ayu could also be considered as a striker, but, you know, pretty pretty strong up top. You know, Andy Carroll, you know, if you can stop him getting sick as a 15-goal striker. Javier Hernandez is definitely a 15-goal uh, striker. Saka will get you 10 no problems as for the dynamics of the club yep it's not looking good if you check out some of the other sides the atmosphere in the in the dressing room is seems to be always good average for the for the hammers uh as for your hierarchy who's considered captain mark noble in there how old is he now he must be knocking on about 30 years old rated at 16.5 million james collins uh, strange story. I know a guy, or I used to work with a guy who played alongside James College uh, at high school level. Yep, yeah, uh, that's uh, that's my claim. That's my claim to fame, or I guess claim to James Collins. Uh, Winston Reed also in there. I feel Winston Reed would be my skipper. I'd remove that from that because Winston Reed got a couple more years under the belt. Definitely in my side, um, undroppable. Uh, moving on, social groups. Big master core of social social group here. A lot of Influential figures for youngsters to look upon as mentors. As for overall happiness, um, eh, it is not. It's not the greatest. There's a lot of orange knocking around. Uh, fairly poor down here. Slightly poor Adrian because he's got to compete with uh, England's number one. Pedro Abiang is also not very happy. Cresswell. So a lot of work to be done with the morale stakes. Um, not sure how the, that could be rectified. But obviously, performance on the pitch will uh, be crucial. 
Um, and that's pretty much all I've got for you. Quick overview. Uh, if there's something I've missed, please leave a comment in the section below. This is just a brief overview, nothing in depth. Just want to show you what you got uh, at your disposal. I plan to do each and every Premier League side. In fact, this is the last one, so the rest of them should be up there already. Uh, and if there's a club out there, a team that you want me to do an overview, whether it's in the Czech League or in the Japanese League, just let me know. Put it in the, in the comment section below and I'll try and knock it out for you. Moving forward, once the initial craziness of the beta and the actual release of FM18 does calm down, I plan to do some game saves. So please check back. I've got some cracking ones in the pipeline. Um, something that's never been done before. <laughs> that's a bold statement right there. Something that's never been done before. So feel free to check it out. But until next time... Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. Check back for more FM content over the next few days. As for my Rovers fans, fear not. Blackburn Rovers content will always be my number one. So don't you go anywhere. Anyway, let's head back into the dugout for some more FM action.